Hey everybody, it's Lewis Porter Jr. It is Thursday, June 30th, 2016. And we're in for another lovely episode of Transparency Agenda. Oh, today was a long day, but it's the start to my five-day vacation mini time off, so I'm kind of happy. So I don't have to go back to work to Wednesday. I have a couple plans for things I'll be doing, besides, of course, some doctor's appointments I have to make. And then doing uh, the Comic Con here this weekend. And like I said, it's going to be a very, very fun time this weekend. I'm going to have lots of fun. I'm going to enjoy myself and just relax. Um, I guess I'm checking out movies before they get taken off of Netflix. I happen to also pick up, uh, or actually pick up, watch uh, Sin City, the game to kill for. I was watching it before. So that's why I'm late. So I was like, oh crap, I got to do a show. And I totally forgot about it. That's what happened when I was So. That's what's going on. Uh, let me see what new and interesting things that are going on in the industry since I, I haven't really checked. I've been at the doctor's today checking, getting myself checked out. As always, everybody, make sure you check out yourself at the doctor's. Very important. Um, you know, my doctor's weight was a little heavy, which I agreed. So I'd like to, you know, lose some weight. So he said, as usual, lose 30 pounds, which I'm always like, oh, I hate when he says that. But he always kind of says it to me because I'm, I'm overweight. But that's something I'm working on every day. So that's kind of cool. Uh, what are the cool things going on that are interesting? Uh, I'll put that away. Uh, I oh, that's right. I announced a new project that we're going to be working on. It currently, it's our secret project, code name of uh, ID. I can't tell you what ID stands for. Uh, Indigo Donkey is what uh, Jeff Lee came up with, which I kind of like. So we might be calling it In Indigo Donkey. I like that name. So what it will be is very very cool. Um, I think people will definitely be happy to hear. Um, you, you know, it will be interesting. Uh, hey, David, uh, yes, Comic-Con is for work and for fun. Uh, FYI, if you are ever, if you have any local cons or anywhere near you can drive to a con, I always suggest that as a publisher you go out and look for several reasons. Reason number one, finding new artists. There are always tons of local guys who are new looking for work. Um, and they're always, you know, they're always looking for work. So you always go out there and look and find the people. Thank you. My brother Reggie says, fool, you are not overweight, just a little heavy. That's my brother who loves and cares for me. Like, you know, you know what I always respect. Uh, so, yeah, number two, if you go to a Comic-Con, go to check out the guest. You know, it's a great opportunity. If you go on a Friday, if it's a, a three-day con, starts on Friday or four-day, starts on Friday, try to go out Friday. It's the slowest day of the week if you can. You can get there kind of early, and what you can do is actually get some real one-on-one -on -one time with people, which gives you a lot of advantages just in their, you know, just talking to them, understanding the process. Uh, Chuck Dixon, uh, who's written tons of stuff for DC Comics, I used to harangue him at, at Megacon in Orlando constantly. So this is something, you know, that I'm very familiar with. I think it is a good thing to do. The, the information they can give you is pretty much invaluable. Plus, you have that opportunity just to be one on one and you know do the smart things, spend as much time as you can talking to them, getting information, learning stuff, because you know anything you learn, you get to keep that, you know, and it didn't really cost you much except for the cost of the ticket. But if you go looking for you know new artists, you, you know it's even better. You go out, you find new artists, you find people you can work with, you find people where you can you know team up with, and they're local. So, so it's kind of a win-win. That's kind of what you want to do. You want to find people like that that you can go, oh, snap, I didn't know you are in the same city as me. Let's see how we can work together. Let's see how we can do cool projects together. And with that, you just keep moving in that kind of forward direction. So that's the plans probably for tomorrow. Uh, rest of the weekend, I don't know. I know i got to do some washing. That's about it. You know, very, very light <laughs> gamer life. Um, some friends have some parties I'm probably going to be swinging by. Um, see what Lucas and I will be doing. We'll be getting into some kind of trouble. You know, that's what fathers and sons do. So that's only natural. That comes, you know, pretty easy and pretty painless. Uh, what other fun things? Um, I kind of don't, uh... <laughs> yes, David. I, 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 yes, I do say heavy. Some people say anti-kidnapping tactic. I do agree to that one, too. It's, it is a true statement. So, uh, personally, like I said, I just want to have a nice weekend relaxing having some fun. Uh, let me see what cool things are going on since I'm checking the Paizo site. Like I said, it's been a busy afternoon. Uh, people talk about third-party third party classes. You know, the same old 
stuff, standard stuff. Nothing crazy has happened that I've heard about lately, so that's kind of good. But I know you all came here with the topic, and the topic tonight was a big topic. I, I put it out there, and I said, I think I'll talk about this. Because initially I thought about, well, maybe I'll talk about something else. And then I kept coming around thinking about this question that keeps popping up. So I see, commissioned or hired reviews under the... Is that the... Okay, a lot of people want to know about reviews, since everybody's really interested. Okay, look. I'm going to tell you the secret of getting reviews. You know, this is no BS. This is 100% what it is. I want you to listen because this is important. I'm not, you know, I'm not fooling you. This is important. The, the review, the, okay. Let's just talk about just reviews in general. Then we'll go to this, this important thing. Reviews in general are, are important to um, publishers. It is also something that's been, you know, kind of difficultly done. There's very few, like, like legitimate RPG reviewers. I mean, there are people who do reviews because they like you. There's people who do reviews because you're friends with them. You get all kinds of stuff like that. But actual reviewers reviewing your products is, is difficult because, you know, it's... Okay, great example. RPG Now has a system where you can send out copies. Or I don't know if it's even still in, in, actually in operation anymore. But you, when you get a new book out, you could send out review copies for people to take a look at, review, and send back to you and give reviews. And at one point, I believe it was up to, like, 30 people were on the list. But, like, only a limited number of people could get the actual product that came up. So people wouldn't just keep getting free stuff, reading, reading free stuff, and that kind of thing. So it, it, it very much was a way to get people, uh, you know, interested in your product. I, I always thought it was a good idea. I thought it could have been done better. But... It doesn't always work out that way. So it's kind of one of those things that are like, how do you do it better? How do you do it? How, do, how does it get better? Yeah, that's the focus. How does it get better? How do you do it better? How do you see, you know, get your product reviewed? And so I thought about it for a long time. And I really sat down and really, really just dissected what makes something reviewable. And it all came back to, you know, the one important thing. And this is just the thing. It just, it just kept coming around to this. And this is, and this is for really for the small guys. This isn't for, like, the big-name people. Because big-name people have friends that are going to go out of their way to do reviews. Or people will look to get influence from them. Uh, you know, prime example, John Wick. John Wick did 7C. It raised $1.3 million. I am willing to bet actual money that he gained so many new friends that he never heard of that wanted to hang out with him and be with him and talk to him about that Kickstarter. Because all people see in that situation is money and how can I make money off of that. And that's what and that's what happens sometimes. So I think reviews have the same kind of effect. It's like, oh, I'm going to review your product, but what is that going to do for me? So this is what you need to do. Here it is. The secret. Get yourself uh, a writing utensil. Hey, Luke. No, Rich. You cannot. I, I will not review your stuff. But I will tell you to get working on my maps. I know my maps are not done, and I know you're sitting there watching this, and you should be doing my maps. That's Richard, who is our cartographer, who's been doing uh, our maps for Crisis on uh, uh, Crisis, Crisis on Infinite Earths. No, Crisis of the World Eater. So he should be working on that, but he's on here watching me. So that tells you, you know, there you go. All right, here it is. To get people to review your product. You have to make awesome products. Yeah, it's 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 it really is that simple. You've got to make awesome products. You've got to make products that people want to talk about. You've got to make products where people go, "Wow, that's cool! I've got to see more of it." Most people put out products that are good, no doubt. They're good products, they're solid. They're good. But if the product doesn't make you want to talk about it, to somebody else, you've just failed the review the review part. Because let's be honest, if it's not people are not going to talk about it, people don't want to review it. People if they talk about it, they're going to review it. Let me give you a perfect example. Uh, we did. Yeah, that's it. Drink your Ovaltine. Yes, Alan, it is, it is that simple. It, it sounds like it's some big old trick. No. Look, let me break it down to you in a simple, simple, easy equation that you all can understand. We did a little product called Obsidian Apocalypse. I pitched Obsidian Apocalypse with this tagline. It's Dark Sun meets Ravenloft. Those little words together pitched that thing better than I ever could have pitched it myself if my life depended on it. Because people knew what Dark Sun was. 
people knew what what Ravenloft was, and they knew combining it together only made it cooler. Hey, would you like peanut butter and chocolate and jam it together? Sure, I would. That sounds great. And that's the thing. The product itself was was talk worthy. That was number one. Number two, I put the best people I could find on that product. Rich Redman wrote a lot of that book, and I mean a lot of that book. I mean, initially we did we did a, we did the first um, Obsidian Twilight. We took a lot of stuff, we revamped it, but then Rich had to write a lot of stuff that we worked on. So, I mean, he, he we hired the best writer for the job, and he loved it, and he did an awesome job and made it awesome. And then we did a Kickstarter, and I made awesome art for it, and I got people looking at stuff and people going, "Wow, what's that about? I can't wait to see it." You basically have to do great marketing to get people interested in to review your stuff. Just like with the movies. If the trailer looks like crap, no one wants to review it. If the trailer looks okay and the movie's crap, people will review it and you'll get bad reviews. Or even worse, people won't review it. If the trailer looks awesome, the movie's awesome, people review it. If the, if the movie is the greatest thing you've ever seen, and the trailer's the greatest thing you've ever seen... People will review it and then talk their heads off about it. Think about it. Just look at look at any kind of movie that has done very, very well. Usually, it's a good movie. People like it. It has something they like. And people talk it up to death. Beyond just the typical marketing stuff. People talk about it. People say, what? Well, I'll go to my favorite movie of, I think, well, the, actually, I'd say the first of the two movies I'll talk about. Number one, Blair Witch Project. Now, this is also before the internet, before that stuff, before it's very, very commonplace. You got to think back when that was made. That hadn't been done before. That hadn't been seen before. People talk that up and talk that up and talk that up. Say, you got to check it out. You got to see it. You got to check it out. You got to see it. And that's what they did. And the more they talked it up, the more people saw it. The more people talked it up, the more people wanted to review it, wanted to get, in, wanted to dissect it, take a piece. That's what you do. You've got to build the excitement before the product even comes out. That's how you'll get the review. If the product's exciting, people will talk about it. When people talk about it, they'll look for the hey, who's reviewed this? You know, find the people who are doing reviews. Give them a free copy. Don't be chintzy. Some people are like, oh, I don't want to give out a free copy. I'd rather than them buy it and then see if they like it there. No, give them the free. If they're legitimate reviewers, you want to give them a free copy. Uh, Enza Geist, who does all the Pathfinder reviews, gets tons of stuff solicited to him from all over. Tons of people give him stuff to review. And you know what? He did reviews a lot of stuff. And he does it very well. He's, given, you know, he's done reviews of my stuff. But I also know that he's very, very busy. You know, and he did a lot of these reviews for free for a long, long time, which I told him was insane. I'll, I'll put it bluntly. I told him, hey, don't give those reviews away for free. It takes you time. You do awesome reviews. You should find a way to generate money off those. Anything you review, you should have an affiliate link back to RPG Now or where you're selling to get money for the sale because you have earned it. You have helped sell that book. And that's what reviews are. They're just marketing. It's just another name for marketing. It's another name to get people out there to see what you're doing. And a lot of people treat it like it's some, some magic, you know? Oh, and they, even worse, if they don't get reviews, they think the product isn't selling. Get interest. Interest builds, interest builds everything. Get the interest, then you'll get the review. You can't assume that everybody's going to see your book and know what it is. You can't assume everybody has been part of your Kickstarter. You can't assume everybody's seen what's in your head and said, oh, I know exactly what you mean. I got to get this. People don't. If you want, Here's a great way to get a review. And I did this, and this worked well for Crisis. We did the first adventure as a free giveaway. I gave that adventure well before we did the Kickstarter. I'm talking, you know, it was probably, oh, good Lord, three. No, actually, it came out, I remember, it came out Black Friday. We started the Kickstarter in February. Let's say in January, February. No, no, last day in February. That's right. So that's three months. That's three months we basically had people just, just shoving interest about it. I kept going everywhere. You got to get it. It's free. You got to check it out. You got to get it. It's free. You got to check it. I did that a bazillion times. And what happened? And the guys got it. He read it, and he also said, "Yes, I like this. This is a really good. It's a five star review plus a seal of approval. And you got to pick it up. It was free. What have you got to lose?" And that really is, uh, you know, one of the smart things that came out of that. You know, I built a review off of giving away free product. And you can do the same thing, too. But the product has to be worth reviewing. If, you, if you're giving up a, a B-level product or a C-level product, it's not going to get a good review. Don't waste your time. Give up your A-level product. Make sure it's awesome. Make sure the reviewer understands how good it is. 
here's an old marketing term. Under promise, over deliver. That's a huge thing. The problem is most people over promise and always under deliver. You know, do the opposite, man. Talk, talk about, hey, it's a good product. It's really good. You should, you should like it. No, it'll be good. I think we did a good, solid job. You're going to be, going to be humble about it because if it's really, really good and you know it's really good and you've worked hard and you made sure it's really, really good, well, they're going to see that. They're going to see it in what, they, what you've done. They're going to see it in the writing. They're going to see it in the editing. They're going to see it in the layout. They're going to see the art. They're going to see everything. It's going to look like a product that is professionally done by a large corporation. That's how good the product should be. That That is that is huge. That is huge. That's huge. Most people don't even do that. I mean, most people give, will give us like, you know, oh, I want to get the get the best review possible, and they give these products that look horrible. I mean, just like, oh, no, no color cover, scratchy, horrible art, bad editing, atrocious layout, just slapped together, and they think, oh yes, people will want to pay money for this. No, there's enough awesome product out there you got to compete with. It needs to be awesome. So when you hand it to a reviewer, he just goes, wow, man, this is better than I thought it was ever going to be. I thought this was going to be just okay, but man, it's great. It's awesome. Just by picking it up, not even flipping the, the flipping the first page. Once they get the first page, they read it, they go, holy cow, this is even better. And you enthrall them in it, and they get it, and you get the good review. That is it. Now, that being said, there are a lot of people out there who will claim, oh, I'll give you a good review. I'll give you a good review. I'll, I'll get you a review. Don't worry. I'll get you a re- Just give me a free product. I'll give you a review. Hey, give me a free product. Yeah, that you're going to do a lot of that game, too. The people who are serious about reviews, they have a following. They have websites. They put up reviews. The guys that are faking will tell you anything. They're just like dudes on the first date trying to get with a girl. Hey, hey, whatever you need to hear, baby. Whatever you need to hear. I would do whatever romance is necessary for me to get with you. And that's what a lot of them are doing. They're looking, they're looking to get you. They're going to say whatever they need to say, get what they need to get, and then they're going to be out and they won't even remember your name. That's why I say if you're going to give away free product, make sure the people understand how serious you are about it. Hold them to it. And when they don't review, make sure you put their name out there and say, hey, I gave this free product to this guy. He didn't even look at it. He didn't review it. He didn't say anything. He took the product and ran. And call them out on it. Call them out. I'm, I'm notorious. Call somebody out on it. If they haven't done what they're supposed to do, you call them out. You tell the truth. And you just keep it moving. You know, hey, if you said you're going to review and you didn't review, you didn't review. Be a man about the scenario. Don't lie about it. Don't try to, you know, say like, oh, you know, my cat died. I tell people the same thing all the time. Don't use death as an excuse. My wife died in the middle of doing Obsidian Apocalypse. I mourned over my wife. I became a single father. But I still got the product out. So don't give me that BS of, oh, this is that. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not, I don't care. You said you're going to do it, do it. Be honest with yourself. Don't lie about it. Just be a man about it. Handle the business. If you didn't do it, oh, well, you, you didn't do it. You said you were going to review, you didn't review. And guys who do review you, you treat them like gold. You treat them like gold because they are doing hard work for probably low pay. Enzo Geist has a, uh, a a Patreon project. Let me, get, let me actually see if I can find it real quick because, you know, this is one of those. It, it's becoming, it's almost becoming a rant. You know me, it's almost becoming a rant. So if it's becoming a rant, it's going to be good. You know, I, I you know, good Lord. It, it's, why is everything other Patreon project coming up? Jesus. Thank you. It's like, he has done a lot of awesome reviews. He did them when no one, I mean, he wasn't getting paid. I mean, he wasn't getting paid. He was not getting paid. Currently, he has. Let's check it out. He's getting paid a whopping $704 a month to do reviews. Now, if you've ever seen any of his reviews, um, it, it's, his reviews are not just in-depth. They're not just informative. They are amazingly done and incredibly detailed. Anybody who is not sure about this business and doesn't know if they want to get into it and doesn't not sure if they can... Pull it off. This is the guy you need to talk to. Just say, "Hey, could you please review my stuff?" And you know what I do? I give. I, I, I've I've set up. I've, I am a reward. I give money every month to do reviews. Now here's the funny part. I don't even release products every month. This year alone, I think. I mean, literally, we've released maybe one product this year. Maybe. I want you to think about that for a second. It is. It is July. It is month number seven. I haven't released a product. I'm still paying for this guy to review other people's products. Why? Because I know he's a good reviewer. I know he does good work. 
I know people appreciate the good work he does. And I'm telling you, this guy is doing awesome, awesome stuff. And this is me just telling you, oh, because I think he's a good guy and maybe he'll review myself one day. If he reviews it, if he doesn't review it. I know good work. And I think good work should be paid for. This is awesome. He does his stuff. And I, and I tell you the truth. I think if anyone's got any kind of brain power, if you like 5E and you are a viewer and you can put a sentence together that's decent, you should be doing this. Because the potential for you to become the guy in reviews is very easy. You don't even have to be the... You don't have to, I mean, look. Enzo Guys does... Let's look at his website. Let's check out one of his websites. If I can find it real quick. Boom. Look at that. Comes up perfect. Easy. Well, still coming up. It's loading up. But let's look at his website. Let's see how many reviews he's done. June 30th. He has uh, Knowledge Check Code and Cipher. This was done by Fat Goblin. That's one that I reviewed and released today. Uh, Crackthorn's Catalog of Creatures, The Were Spider. That was done by uh, uh, Miss, uh, Mystic Studios, uh, Misfit Studios. All right, that was released today. All right, uh, yesterday, or yesterday, The GM's Miscellaneous 20 Things, Volume 1. This is done by Raging Swan. That was released. Uh, the Miscellaneous Musings, Captain of oh, Civil War. Well, of course, but he's still talking about Civil War. He did, uh, how many paragraphs am I already into this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's like a eight or nine, or maybe even ten. Ten paragraph thing on Civil War. On the 28th, which would be Tuesday, in the Companies of Treants. That's from Wright Publishing. That got a very in-depth review. I mean, gee, this is, this is pretty in-depth. Also, Mini Dungeon, Heart of the Sacred Dawn, from Adventures of Week. They got a review. The 27th, which is Monday? Monday. Sword and Sorcery Complete Rulebook, um, OSR. Oh, yeah, OSR. Got a review. You know, this guy's doing one in uh, Lands of... I always get this wrong. This is a friend, but I can, I'm horrible. Everybody knows I'm horrible at pronunciation. Lands of Propria. I guess Propria? Campaign setting. This is for our buddies over at Purple Duck. They got a review for him. And it's an indi- yep, it's another intel- detailed one. Boom. That's what he's done this week alone. He's done those reviews. And they're all good, well detailed reviews where you can learn about the product, learn about the the actual stuff. You know, how good is it? Is it this good? Is it that good? He breaks it down. I mean, he, he breaks it flipping down. So if you're not, if you're not doing that and you, anybody who's serious about reviewing, check out Enza Geis' site. I'm going to put him in the show notes at the bottom. Check our YouTube page. It'll be on there. You can get it there. But seriously, if you're, if you're going to do this, you know, do it. Don't mess around about it. Really do it. Really say, I'm going to spend the time. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be the guy that everyone talks about when they talk about doing reviews. You can be that guy. It, it doesn't take much. It just takes time and effort. And you may not have a lot of time. Everybody doesn't have as much time. But if you put the good effort in, people are going to support you. Because they're going to know, oh, yeah, man, he did some great reviews. You can't miss out on this person. Or, say, you know, I said he. Please forgive me. He or she. Because this can be done by men or women. It's the person who does it first. That is the smart person. That is the person who's gonna is gonna win this contest. And a lot of people aren't doing that. A lot of people are just sitting back and just, oh, I don't know if I want to do a review. Duh, duh, duh. And if you're not sure, here's something crazy you can do. Uh, Write Publishing. I'm gonna talk about them right now. Write Publishing does a book every month. I see. I keep saying Wayfinder. It's not Wayfinder, Lewis. It's not Wayfinder. RPG. Now. Well, sorry about typing so loud, but it's, you know, I get excited. When I get excited, I gotta find stuff quickly, and you know how difficult that is. I'm, you know, I get too excited about stuff. Right? Publishing. Boom. Right? Publishing puts out a monthly book they give away for free. They do reviews, they do new content, and Pathways. Thank you. I could never remember for anything. Pathways. It's free. It's pay what you want. It's that level of free. Pay what you want. And if you're a Pathfinder fan, you can go in and find tons of stuff. The most recent one just got released at the, be- at the middle of the month. It was the middle of the month this one came out. It came out a little late. Well, it's all relative. It came out in the middle of the month. You know, it is, it is 60 pages of good content from all kinds of people that you know in the industry if you're a fan of Pathfinder. And the guy gives it to you for pay what you want. Or you can get the soft cover or get the PDF and the soft cover combo if you want. If you really, really want to do it. And he's got a Patreon product. A project for it too. So it's like, hey, if you want to support him from doing this book that he's not asking you for any money, you could be the you could be the cool person and do that. And they also do reviews. I think they also pick up reviews from Enza Guys. But it's also it's a place to check reviews. It's back to you know see how it is? It's back to getting reviews. It's all about getting those reviews, man. 
make products people can't not talk about. You know, uh, Pathways is you know Pathways is one that Red Publishing does, and you know if I was you, I would go out of my way to find the products for, from them because they do awesome, awesome stuff. It's a it's a great free product. Why would you not? Why would you not? Why would you not pick it up? Why do you not see what, what what they're doing? You know, just just reading about oh, what reviews did you get from these products? They do that too. What new products are coming out? What cool things are you coming out with their own stuff? It's, it takes two seconds. If anybody's doing reviews, you, as someone involved in this industry, you need to find them and talk to them. Now, that being said, I think you also need to find a way to get talk to the big guys, too, the bigger companies. You know, the Geek and Sundries. How do you get those guys? How do you get the Wired Magazine to see you? Same old thing. Same old thing. You follow... Do I even have a, Let me see if I can find it here. I don't think I, even, I don't think I actually have the shelves. Look, what you do is a technique called jab, 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 right hook. It's right from Gary Vaynerchuk... If you know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, you, you know, I don't have to say any more. But if you've never heard the name Gary Vaynerchuk, you have not been paying attention when I do these these videos. Because I've talked about Gary Vaynerchuk many times. Uh, you you need to you need to you need to go online. You need to check out Gary V stuff. I keep calling him Gary V because that's what he calls himself online. But you can find him anywhere. Gary Gary Vayner, Vaynerchuk. He's on YouTube. He does a lot of cool marketing. a lot of inspirational stuff. And there is no way in the world you can't be inspired by not watching a show. And you don't have to watch it every day. I watch every day with I'm a fan. I'm a hardcore fan. I always have been. But you don't have to be. But you can get some good knowledge out of this stuff. You can learn things that you didn't know. And you can, you know, definitely, definitely use the stuff that he does. It's amazing. It's amazing stuff. And you should learn. I'm, you know, I, I, oh, good Lord. It's just, it's just... This stuff is so good, I don't want you guys to miss out on an opportunity to get the best reviews possible. And yeah, it sounds like a little bit of a rant, but is it a rant, or is it me just telling you the truth? So, that's all I can say about that. You know, hey, I've been on this call now for 30 minutes, talking about reviews, I hope you guys are paying attention, I hope you weren't just sitting here watching and getting inspired, I hope you were actually doing, going out there, looking at your products, looking at your products honestly, and telling yourself... Hey, man, is this a crappy product or is this a product people are going to talk about? And leave your ego out of it. A lot of you are saying, of course my product is awesome. No, it's not. Leave your ego out. That's the dumbest thing. You know it's a piece of crap. You know it's not very good. You know it needs work. You know the cover isn't awesome. You know the, the editing isn't as good as it could be. The artwork isn't as good as it could be. You got some second-rate art. You got some stock art that looks totally like crap that doesn't fit for anything you do. If that's what you've done, up your game. Make the best-looking product possible. Make the best-made product possible. Remember, under promise, over deliver. Under promise, over deliver. That's it. That's how difficult it is to remember. Don't forget. Just pay attention. Do what you got to do. <sighs> God, see, I'm all worked up now. You know, thank God I'm off because I don't have to, you know, get all crazy. There's nothing worse than you get all worked up on this stuff and they, I get all crazy and then I want to relax and I can't. You know how that goes. Jeez almighty. Oh, okay. See, I got See, I just got an email from uh, Michael McCarthy about our special project, um, Indigo Donkey. So we're going to see what's going on. It's getting crazy up here. It's getting so crazy. Goodness, it's getting crazy. This guy's getting crazy. This is, and I, oh, I got to add, I'll try, I didn't tell you guys who I actually added to this. Yeah, Rich Redman, I told you, Rich Redman, Michael McCarthy, Jeff Lee, they're all working on this. So it's going to be some stuff we're going to be doing. But there you go. All right. Another show wrapped up. Monday's a holiday. I don't know if I'm going to do a video. I don't know. I might be watching fireworks. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it while walking back from the fireworks. I don't know. Let's assume that I'm not going to do a video, but if I do one, I'll do something cool. I'll give away something really cool and interesting that you guys didn't expect and give you some good knowledge. So there you go. But Tuesday, of course, we'll be doing a video. Even though I'm off from work, I'll still be doing a video. I'm still going to give you some good knowledge and give you something that you guys can work with, as always, you know. And, of course, Wednesday will be, I'm hoping, New Comic Book Day. We'll have some new comic books to talk about and see what has the comic book industry has done to mess themselves up and become very foolish. So there you go. All right, so everybody, also, before I even finish, remember, if you've got any questions, send me a question. Send it either if you're on YouTube. Send it here, I'll get it. If you're on Facebook, 
send me a personal message. I'll talk about it the next day because I know some people, you know, may not hear it and stuff. Also, go to our YouTube page. You know, if you see the link, go to our YouTube page. Subscribe there. We need the numbers. It helps out. The more numbers we get, the more potential stuff we can do, the more stuff I can do. Maybe I can get a big green screen behind me. Maybe two cameras set up, become all professional. You can see me on more than one thing. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get very high level here. So, hey, just do what you got to do. All right. As always, thank you, everybody, and have a good weekend, and have a good 4th of July. You know, hey, just have some fun. Go tell your mother that you love her. I know you haven't done that this week. Talk to you all later.